Time now for 680 Sports, brought to you by AddisonGM.com. Over to Sportsnet Radio, the Fan 590. So here we are, 745-ish. And Peter Gross, this is, uh, I guess this is your sixth sportscast of the morning. The number six must be important. Yes, the number six is important, Marlene. I can do a lot with the number six in this sportscast. In fact, this sportscast is brought to you by Bird of Sesame Street because... My favorite number is six. You see, the Blue Jays have a six-game winning streak. They outscored the Tigers 4-2. to two. Six runs scored in that game with the outcome. Max Scherzer failed to extend his six-game winning streak. The winning pitcher was Kyle Drabeck, who allowed just a run on three hits, but he did walk... Six. Six. That's how many runs the Red Sox allowed before coming back to zap the Orioles. Seven, six. Six. That's how many straight the Yankees have lost. They gave up six and scored just five against Tampa. Many people are enjoying the Yankees losing streak. Nothing more lovely than six. And when the Jays and Tigers complete their two-game series tonight, how many times will that be that these two teams have played this season? Six. Vin Mazzaro wishes the six applied to him or the seven or the eight. Just not 14. That's how many runs the reliever allowed as the Indians obliterate Obliterated the Royals 19 to 1. Mazzaro allowed 10 runs in the fourth. Makes you wonder why manager Ned Yo sent him out for the fifth, in which Mazzaro allowed four more runs, making him the first pitcher in baseball history to allow 14 runs in less than three innings. And after the game, he was demoted to Triple A Omaha. The Tampa Bay Lightning have won eight straight playoff games. They knocked off the Bruins in game one in Boston. Game two tonight at the TD Garden in Boston and Kentucky Derby champ Animal Kingdom is expected to run in the Preakness Saturday at Pimlico. Trainer Graham Motion is hoping his three-year-old Colt gets a better post than the number 16 he was assigned for in the Derby. Well, Graham, what post position would you want? My favorite number is six. Sports at 15 and 45, past every hour or anytime at 680news.com. 680 News Time, 735. Well, some say it's part of the game. Others say it takes away from the game. At Wimbledon this year, some fans are complaining again that the women tennis players are grunting too loudly. Our Peter Gross brings us the details from Sportsnet Radio, the Fan 590. This is a lawnmower, 100 decibels. This is a car horn, 100 decibels. And this is Maria Sharapova. Her on-court grunts have been recorded at 105 decibels or slightly less than a turbo jet. Have a listen to Victoria Azarenko. That measured 95 decibels. Ian Ritchie, chief executive at Wimbledon, wishes there was less grunting. He suggests any player disturbed by an opponent making too much gratuitous noise should complain to the umpire. Apparently, any sound that measures over 90 decibels can cause ear damage. Can you say class action suit? By tennis fans? From Sportsnet Radio, the Fan 590, Peter Gross, 680 News. On 680 News. Putting the Concord to shame. 680 News Time, 945. Sports is brought to you by Carrier Heating and Air Conditioning from Sportsnet Radio, the Fan 590. Here is Peter Gross. Well, Ann, how many times has this happened? I got Jamie Farr sitting beside me, helping me <laughs> with the sports. Uh, yes, yeah. And Jay- what, what, do you, what have you given me to read the first thing? Uh, the Toronto Blue Jays now have the longest active winning streak in the majors. The Jays scored three times in the eighth for a 4-2 win in Detroit over my Tiger team. Sorry about that. Running the good times to six straight games and moving. One game over 500. Kyle Drebick pitched seven nervous innings. I'm nervous sitting beside you. He allowed just a run on three hits but walked six. The turning point was the first inning. The Tigers loaded the bases with none out and only got one run out of it because oh. Victor Martinez hit into a double play. Yeah, and in the eighth with the game tied, Aaron Hill doubled home. Jose Batista, who hit those three home runs the other day, the That's other night, great. with a go-ahead run, and the Tigers' seven-game win streak has been snapped. For the second game of this two-game set, the Jays will trust Jesse Litch with the ball. Jays remain tied with the Red Sox for second place. Boston spotted Baltimore a 6 nothing lead, but roared back to win at 7-6. And <laughs> The Yankees lost for the sixth straight time, <laughs> six to five, to the first place Tampa Rays. You're taking some pleasure. Yeah, out of you got that one right. <laughs> you know, I, I, Jamie, this morning we're talking about the worst performance ever by a major league pitcher. His name is Vin Mazzaro. He came in to relieve last night for Kansas City. Take it away. And in the fourth, he gave up. You ready for this? Ten runs. And in the fifth, he gave up four more. 
and the Indians smashed the Royals 19 to 1. Mazzaro is the first reliever since the Korean War to allow 14 <laughs> runs, and after the game, go figure, he was sent back to the minors. Thank goodness it wasn't at the Mud Hens, it was <laughs> Omaha. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie, the, we got some hockey tonight. I know you have. I'm okay. going to be watching. The Bruins have home ice against the Lightning. Tampa won the first game. Yeah, and Canucks and Sharks play game two tomorrow night in Vancouver. And we got this operative rumor that uh, Winnipeg, some guys in Winnipeg are going to buy the Atlanta Thrashers and move them north. In fact, according to the Winnipeg Free Press, the NHL has two working schedules for next season. One of them has the Thrashers playing out of Winnipeg. Oh, oh, oh this one more score. Sure, go ahead. <laughs> the Toledo Mud Hens lost to the Gwinnett Braves last night 10-5 to and move on to play the Knights in Charlotte tonight. Jamie, i got to thank you very much for doing this. All now, right. read this together with you me. Bet. Sports, Sports at 15, 15 and, and 45, 45 past, past every hour or anytime at 680news.com. <laughs> the Mud Hens lost. You guys are money. You guys are money. <laughs> 680 News Time, 948. City Sports. And from Sportsnet 590, the fan, Peter Gross, I understand you'd rather watch a hockey game than election results? Well, yeah, Brian, while well, the uh, no. provincial election was taking place, the Leafs constituency loved opening night. A 2 nothing shutout of the Canadians. James Reimer was the premier player, nominated as player of the game as Montreal fired a liberal amount of shots, 32, while the Leafs were offensively conservative with just 18 shots. Some NDP, though, need defensive plays, especially from the new candidate, Dave Steckel, who killed penalties and went 18 for 25 on face-offs. Returning officer Matthew Lombardi scored the game winner his first goal in 17 months. Party leader Dion Phaneuf had the other Toronto goal. Leafs stay home to face those guys from the nation's capital tomorrow night. Suffrage for the Vancouver Canucks, who fell 4-3 in a shootout to the visiting Pittsburgh Penguins. Flyers exercise their mandate in Boston, outpolling the Bruins 2-1. The New York Yankees have been voted out of the playoffs, losing 3-2 to the Tigers. No judicial recount for closer Jose Valverde with a 1-2-3 ninth. The Tigers' Valverde is now 51 for 51 and save chances this season. Very close contests and two ridings tonight as the Phillies and Cards play game five in Philly and the Brewers hope to take affirmative action against the D-backs in Milwaukee. Tiger Woods could not come up with a minority of shots as he fired a two over 73 in the opening round of the Fries.com tournament in California. Woods is six back of four guys tied for the lead. Four under par was a common score. Canadians lobbying for a good finish. Chris Barilla is a shot off the lead with the majority of the field behind him. Matt McQuillan is one under par and David Hearn elected to match par so he's two up in the polls on wood and Canada rules at the World Cup of Baseball with a 4 nothing win over Taiwan yesterday Canada has a plurality of 4-0 and and will face the host team Panama today sports democratically presented at 15 and 45 past every hour anytime at 680news.com 680 news tab 617